I'm Anil Kumar and here is a test question on vertical and horizontal asymptotes for you. The question is, state the equation of vertical and horizontal asymptotes, describe the behavior of the graph near the asymptotes, right? So the graph is given to you. Now, as you can see, there are two vertical asymptotes and one horizontal asymptote. So write down what the asymptotes are and then describe behavior of the graph of the function near the asymptotes. You can pause the video and answer the question. Okay, here is my suggestion. Let us first write down the asymptotes, right? So in this particular case, uh, asymptotes are, we have two vertical asymptotes. So we'll start with the vertical asymptotes. Two vertical asymptotes are these. One is x equals to minus one. The other one is x equals to plus one, right? So these are the two vertical asymptotes. So here we have, x equals to plus 1 and this one is x equals to minus 1 and there's one horizontal asymptote so horizontal asymptote is y equals to 0 so the x-axis y equals to 0 is your horizontal asymptote and now let us check behavior near the asymptote right so that is the next step so behavior near the asymptote so let's consider the horizontal asymptote first so for the function, let's call this function f of x. Now, as we'll, we can say limit of the function, as x approaches minus infinity, for the function f of x is what? If you are approaching minus infinity, the value of the function is approaching 0. So it is, it is 0, right? Sometimes it is better to specify minus here, indicating that you are approaching from the negative side, right? And now similarly, we can find limit as x approaches positive infinity for the same function. So here you see it is approaching 0 but from the positive side, right? So that is 0 plus. This is very helpful when you have to sketch the graph of the function. This is kind of reverse calculations we are doing, right? So uh, what we found here is behavior near the horizontal asymptote, right? Now let us analyze the vertical asymptote. So vertical asymptotes are at uh, minus 1 and plus 1. So we say, what is the limit of the function as x approaches minus 1 from the negative side? That means left side. So you can clearly see from left side, it is approaching negative infinity, right? So we say this is equals to negative infinity. And at the same point, what is the limit of the function f of x as x approaches minus 1 but from the right side. So on the right side, you can see very clearly from the right side, it is approaching positive infinity, right? So near a vertical asymptote, always you'll be either approaching negative or positive infinity, right? So that is the case. Now let's consider the second asymptote. So we say limit of the same function as x approaches this time plus one from the left side, which is negative. So it is approaching negative infinity, right? And limit of the function as x approaches 1 from the positive side is positive infinity, right? So that is how you can write down or describe the behavior of the function, correct? So I hope these steps are absolutely clear to you. Now, as an exercise, uh, let me give you a function here. Let's say the function is x over, uh, I'll give you a very similar function, x squared minus uh, minus, let us say, 25, correct? So sketch this function, describe all the possible asymptotes and the behavior near the asymptotes as we did here. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.